Hello everyone, my name is Wrath of Godzilla in-game, and Alex everywhere else. I am a low master slash D1 controller player on Paladins, who has a lot of experience on Makoa and his hook. A lot of people come to me asking, how does this hook work, and not many people know on how the ability works outside of pulling someone in. So here is a small tutorial on Makoa's hook. Makoa's hook ability is considered the strongest ability in the game, allowing you to launch a hook from 85 units coming from your left hand towards the reticle of your POV, to where if the hook lands on an opponent, it locks out the enemy and pulls said enemy to you with the endpoint updating until the enemy's 8 units from Makoa, leading for an easier kill for you and your team. The hook can not only be used for securing a kill, but can also be used to save a teammate's life. Watch our right! Oh, nice, dude, nice, this, this, nice, this, this, nice, that was the best call. And prevent the enemy from capturing the objective. Oh, dude, that hook was so clutch. The hook can also go through and cancel certain abilities, such as Terminus Siphon, Andro Reversal, Ramen Ash Dash, Victor Alt. No, you're not hurting anybody else and even stunning the somewhat CC immune Yagrath for one second. The hook, however, cannot go through shields, deployables, atlas wall, CC immune targets, or the map itself. To tell how far away you can hook the enemy, the outlines of the enemy will be your answer. If they are highlighted orange, they will be outside the hook range. But if they are highlighted red, they are hookable. However, these red and orange highlights are there for the purpose of whether or not your primary fire will do max damage or not, which is five units farther than the max hook range meaning that there is a small window where they are highly red, but are still unhookable. When it comes to Makoa's hook, it acts the same way as Dombos and Pip's secondary fires as it comes from the far left of the screen towards the center of your reticle. When it comes to using Makoa's hook, you need to be mindful of how to aim it, which can be different at each range and at different angles. In long range, the hook will land as long as your reticle is red, as shown here. In medium range, the red reticle still provides accurate hooks, however, at this range with how big Paladin's hitboxes are for players, and the hook itself, you can hook people when your reticle is white, but only just outside of the enemy player model. And in close range, the hook can be hit in most areas on the screen, but more so on the far left side, as again, the hook is coming from the left. Since it comes off to the left, you can choose this by having your reticle be on the player and hooking them while being mostly out of the frame from the enemy when peeking from your left around a corner. Be wary however, because when hooking on the opposite side of the situation, you have to peek out more in order for the hook to not get hit on the wall since, as we said earlier, the hook comes off from the left hand side. Here's how far you have to peek in order for the hook not to get hit by the wall in this scenario. Also, when it comes to hooking people around corners, depending on where and which map, certain areas will allow the player to get hooked and wrapped around the object of the map to the intended location, while in other locations, the map's collision prevents this, especially when it comes to hooking through doorways. 
A good rule of thumb to follow is when hooking someone that is barely peeking the doorway, upon landing the hook, turn 90 degrees in the direction of the opening of the doorway and walk forward in that direction to have a better chance of having the enemy getting pulled out all the way. Just know that the bigger the enemy hitbox is, the more likely map collision will stop the player from getting fully pulled. The hook hitbox in animation extends out in a very special way, having the hook being thrown over Mokoa's head, and as it extends, the hook hitbox is in an upwards motion. This means that the closer you are, the lower you can aim on the flying enemy and still hit them. Be mindful, however, as the farther the hook travels, the less upwards the hook hitbox becomes, so be sure to adjust your aim accordingly when aiming for one of these hooks. Oh, that was the best hook! That was the best hook! Holy shit! How big Paladin's hitboxes are, as said earlier, you can do some cheese with the hook in which upon the right angles you can fire a hook towards the high ground ledge and be able to land the hook, bringing them off the high ground. This is done by the hook just barely hitting the head hitbox of the enemy champions and the taller the champion is, the easier it is to hook with a steeper angle. Just make sure to aim close to the edge of the high ground, but not too close for the hook to hit the map and not the player. This tech can also be done in other scenarios where you can hook in the direction of the descending ramp and everything as said earlier will still apply. As we all know, the hook brings people to you, allowing your team to easily kill the opponent that is hooked. But you can also be a toxic person to hook them off the map or into an environmental death. Oh, nice hook! Nice hook! To do this, stand at the ledge of a cliff or next to a place where people can die from the environment. Hook the person and rotate them so they can fall off the map or into the environment that can insta-kill them. And if the champion has an escape method from, say, falling off the map, the Makoa hook will update the endpoint of where the target stops once the target is 8 units away from Makoa, meaning that if a champ has a means of escaping the environmental death, then simply take them with you. How did you get back there? In the bus! I'm genuinely confused- I got the Zin! I got the Zin! Yes! <laughs> With that being said, those are the basics of Makoa Hook. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope to see you guys again next time.